a, a revenge thing because somebody she said something to went and looked on a, a thing when she came to do the visit. They went and searched it and found out so. Yo, yo, what's going on, One Life family? Y'all already know this boy, One Life Star, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. That's if you're returning. If, if this is your first time, I want to welcome you to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, man, this YSL thing, this Caleb Bumpers, Shannon Jackson thing has taken another turn. And I know a lot of people wasn't ready to quite believe it, but, you know, I don't even really report on stuff unless I know it's some credibility involved. That's when you would catch me speaking on stuff because I kind of got an inside scoop or I got some information. And, you know, and this thing had been brewing for a minute, but it was like, what? People hadn't really put it together. But when old boy came out talking about it, I said, yeah, it's credible. I be dying there. I hear these people talk. I see the way that they be moving. I have overheard so much stuff down at that courthouse. That's why y'all don't remember. I came back and I told y'all. I said, look, Moontunk finna be the next witness up there. I heard him talking to his attorney. I told y'all. I said, look, they infamous. When she had got in that little situation, I was like, I came around the corner. I heard the people talking. I, I just be hearing stuff down there at the courthouse, you know. But the point what I'm saying is um, infamous that came out and basically said, about what happened and how this thing transpired. And it all makes perfect sense. And it even coincides with what uh, Kayla was saying. This is big, you guys. This is the, this right here just won them the trial. This right here is probably going to go down in federal history because what people don't understand is this is not only unethical, but it's in a way illegal. It's illegal because they're going to say that you the person that was taking him in the contraband, you was feeding him information. You was doing certain things under your law practice, knowing that you was married to this man, which is a conflict of interest. So now you done lied to get into a government facility in, in, a, in, a, in a sense. You see what I'm saying? You're coming in there saying I'm his attorney when in all actuality you lying under your badge because you this man's wife, which is a conflict of interest. They have laws in place for a reason. And it goes back to the whole time I've been telling y'all, man, this lady is crazy. This lady just do stuff. This, this is pathetic. And I hate this, and I don't hate to say it. I hate for y'all to see the truth about her, but I've been called a spade a spade since the first po since the first spade game we played. Okay. And, 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 the, and the whole thing over there, man, this is messed up. You got people that have been watching this trial with so much injustice and so much mistreatment and stuff that we seeing in the courtroom on a day-to-day -day basis, and you trying to act. She ain't never even acted like it. If y'all pay attention, she done said from the beginning, call her YSL Kayla. She went in there, did these interviews, got herself indicted. She talked too much. She do too much. You going down here, man, all I want y'all to know, and I'm finna play it for y'all. Infamous Sylvia then came out and said that the lady tried to get her to not put the information out. They end up, the information end up getting put out, man. And I believe her. I believe exactly what she's saying. I believe, dude, because, again, it be a lot of conversations going on down there at that courthouse. And I, a couple of people was hearing this in the background, but it just had not been confirmed. But it was slowly for sure coming, though. And y'all see it's here. She can't deny it. This lady finna get herself indicted, man. That was why, and I don't care what nobody tried to tell me. I heard Weinstein say out his mouth today that they was trying to, I know that they had court because they were trying to get some stuff together, but think about what they trying to get together, y'all. This is stuff they been knew was going on. It just hit the public. They trying to get prepared on what they going to do, come mind you. Yeah, God, he ain't got nothing to do with this situation. But they going to possibly benefit from it because this is a complete mistrial. Now you got to go back. It, I don't know about that. If I was thug, I would withdraw my plea. And I would ride it back out. Because this, this case look like it's going to be throughout. I ain't even going to lie to you. This is what this lady did. Oh, Lord. We're going to talk about it. But I want y'all to hear from, um, from Infamous. And I want y'all to be up on par. Because this thing finna get finna get deep. It's finna get real wicked and go left real quick. So y'all stay up, stay up to par. You know, I probably, uh, I'm gonna be bringing y'all more and more information, but 
the first thing we had to do was confirm it to its entirety. Now, we got a person that's saying, hey, look, she talked directly to this lady about this situation. And I believe it because I be down there at the courthouse and I see them all the time and they always talking. Well, they talk. You feel me? They talk. And these people right here, man, they not the type that's just going to make up something and put it out. We done discussed several things behind the scene. And, and that's why I said what I said. Y'all better be careful because it's some most stuff. It's some most stuff that they got brewing up. One life. <clears throat> Go ahead, Miss Sylvie. So, um, because I didn't believe it, I started asking people around the court, um, was it true? Right. You don't know anything about it. And so within the next few minutes, I got a text. I get a text message from from Kayla asking me about um, who else am I going to tell about this? <laughs> and um, she says, basically, that why is her personal business news? I said, well, um, but, well, she called me and we was talking and she asked me how did I find out who, who was, you know, trying to get her personal business. I said, well, the news guys gave it to me. So she asked me for his number. I gave him her, his number. So she, she didn't want him to so you, you, you gave the source of your information, Sylvie? Okay. <laughs> oh, never. And then she had asked me not to put it out. I said, okay, I won't put it out. Um, so I didn't put it out yesterday. Mm. So um, then people were sending me stuff like it was all over the place. Okay. Right. So I sent her a message saying, hey. So hold on, hold on right there one minute. I hate that. Room. So she wasn't willing to pay you nothing to keep it, keep you from making money? She wasn't willing to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So then, um, so then I said, I'm about to put it out. She was like, what, basically, what, uh, do, do I need, she said something about, do I need to pay you to the, put it, not to put it out? And I said, well, this is newsworthy and my other audience, well, I would want to give it to my audience. I said, but. To keep it buried, I will take five hundred. Just like, right. just joking, you know. It's more of a joking type of thing. Mm -hmm. So she says, "Well, um, do what you have to do." Yeah, she wasn't even willing to pay five hundred, but she wanted to keep it quiet. So she, so then, yeah. So then she went on her little live, and then she made it seem as if I was, you know, the one that actually money, but it was right, money. right. So, so basically, she came to you to do a reverse story so she could have a story. It was a, a revenge thing because somebody she said something to went and looked on a, a thing when she came to do the visit. They went and searched it and found out so. They are upset with her. So what they did, what they did, and they went to find out what was going on between them. She came to visit him. They wanted to find out what's going on. And so they went to search. And how did how did that news guy get it? One of somebody from there told on her. That's how the news guy 